Well, the fool's journey is very disappointed to be the first ones to bring you the news. Yes, you've heard it here first. Snoop Dogg has officially given up smoking. He's given up smoking crack. No. Not, not weed, though. No, no, Quinn. He he gave up smoking weed. No, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't give up smoking weed. Snoop Dogg didn't smoke crack, Quinn. He he smoked weed, and he's, he's going to stop smoking weed. You tell me. He was that scrawny on his own without smoking crack. Okay, buddy. You tell me he was dieting. Snoop Dogg was ripped. Yeah, that's what he I'm was, saying. He was ripped. He was super strong. You don't think crackheads are ripped and super strong? You've ever heard of crack strength? Yeah. Yeah, so we're really disappointed here at The Fool's Journey. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to stop smoking weed as well. I'm actually on my way out myself. Yeah. This is... I'm checking out of life. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm checking out. I'm going to have a blank stare, a thousand yard stare for, for the rest of my life because of I honestly no don't, more weed. I don't know what stoners are going to do worldwide. There's probably going to be, they're probably going to unlegalize a lot of things coming up. Yeah, they're going to revoke a lot of laws that were passed here in California. Um, Specifically, they're going to get rid of all of the all the dispensaries. They're going to make everybody stop smoking weed. They're going to make everybody... Every, uh, I mean, let's be real here. The only reason we were smoking weed in the first place is because Snoop Dogg did it. That's what I thought about every time I smoked weed was the Snoop Diggy Dog Dig D double G. La -di -da -di -da. Yeah, that's what I think. It's the D-O double G. When I wake up in the morning, I think la di da di da, it's the D-O double G. And then in the back of my hand, like a... Like a Hig -a -gaga. Hig -a Yo, I got this cool song we can listen to uh, while we smoke. I remember that. La -di -da -di -da. It's the deal double deal double G. Now I just think of disappointment in my dead dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what makes you think of your dead dog? The dog part of Snoop Dogg? Whatever I think of Snoop Dogg, I think of Xena, my dead dog. Rest in peace. I think of Snoopy the dog. And I don't know. I can't uncorrelate the two of them. It was I like, that guy is smoking weed, <clears throat> and then to think he's he's stopping. Yeah, that I mean, makes me even more angry. When I think of Snoopy the dog, I think of like a fucking retarded dog. I th when I think of Snoopy the dog, I think hardcore stoner. Oh who, yeah, who no, makes rap, <laughs> who makes a lot of rap music? Yeah, yeah. When I think of <laughs> Snoopy the dog from Charlie Brown, I think of like hip hop, which is like Long weird. Beach. You know, I think of like Cali. I don't really, I don't really get it. Think of buds and greenery. I think of like yeah, smoke. Dr. Dre. He's um, giving up smoke. Does that mean he's not going to take out? Is he going to take edibles? It was, that was weird. He was smoking in the first place, but it's even weirder to hear that <laughs> Snoopy Snoopy the dog is is giving up smoking. Yeah, that's fucked. You heard it here. Yeah, I think he will probably still take edibles. So yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He gave up I, smoke. <laughs> yeah. Very clarified smoke. Yeah, he did clarify smoke. Fuck, dude, he's going on diet smoke. Damn it. God damn it, they got him with the ads. Yeah, don't smoke weed. Smoke this thing called diet smoke. Yeah, we just sure. take edibles. We're not sure what it is. <laughs> We're not quite sure. <laughs> you should take it. You don't smoke, You though. should smoke it instead. It's better than smoking, I guess. It's nicer. It's a diet smoke. Yeah, which I don't get that in the first place, a diet smoke. Just smoke fucking, just smoke the weed, man. Yeah. I mean, I... I he should smoke, like, CBD. But, you know, don't smoke the weed now because Snoop Dogg's going to stop smoking weed. He should, so we're all gonna, he should start. Well, well I'm not going to smoke anymore. We're going to stop. I'm going to start. That. I'm going to give up smoke entirely. I'm going to give up smoking pork chops. I'm going to give up smoking all kinds of brisket and maybe yeah, smoke, like, sage smoking for demons. I'm not going to do that anymore because every time I think about it, I'm going to cry about Snoop Dogg, my dog that died or whatever. Rest in peace, Cena. Yeah, every time I think of Snoop Dogg, he's that rapper. He piloted the 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 <laughs> he piloted the against the Red Baron that one he time. Lived in the doghouse. Lived in that doghouse. He was friends the with the Tweety Bird. He 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 piloted against the Red Baron. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> I am back. I'm back currently smoking. <sighs> In other news, though, we also have... Let's get all of the news out, out of the way within the first five minutes of the podcast. Um, Fuck. 
This is a big one. Uh, this is a big one. Diddy is tried, gay. Tried to blow up Kid Cudi's car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? Why? Why, my man, Kid Cudi? Why? He's just a kid. So pretty much everything we knew about the Illuminati is real. Yep. I knew this all the time. The whole, the whole I've thing. seen Eyes Wide Shut. Just yet again, the conspiracy theorists come through with another truth. I heard everybody else knew. I heard knew. Kubrick was actually killed by Diddy. Kubrick was killed by Diddy. That's a fact. Do you know what the the last the last uh, deleted twenty minutes of Eyes Wide Shut were actually <laughs> <laughs> him exposing P Diddy for his crimes? Against- was it was it Diddy uh, trapping Casey for prostitution? Um, <laughs> no, I don't think it was that. I think oh, it was allegedly. I think it was a. a, a might have been a Biggie thing. I'm not sure. What? Yeah, I think it was Biggie related. <laughs> that makes sense. Biggie died in 01? That's 9-11. Well, you're just Biggie died. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my New York history mixed up. Biggie died, 9-11. Kind of the same trauma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I think... <laughs> <laughs> when, it was in like 2001, like around September, right? <laughs> when Biggie got killed. I remember that. Killed on the West West Coast. We all got pulled out of school. <laughs> <laughs> it was very dramatic. That draws. That draws here, folks. Uh, yeah. Which the other news is actually about Osama Bin Laden as well. Wait, what? He like wrote a letter being like, I have no idea what 9-11 <laughs> was. <laughs> it was Diddy. It's probably Diddy. He did claim it was Diddy. Yeah, he probably claimed Diddy in the letters, and then I it remember wasn't, it wasn't SEAL Team Six who got Osama. It was Diddy. It was OG like uh, Taliban videos. They yeah. kept saying Diddy, Diddy. <laughs> I remember that as a kid. <laughs> diddy. <laughs> Why didn't we just give him up? Yeah, we, it was it, right under our noses the whole if, time. If we only knew what he was going to do to Kid Cudi, we would have given given Diddy up to the Taliban immediately. Kid Cudi's a child. He's just a little boy. <laughs> just he's just a young man. He's Kid Cuddy. He's just a young, deluded teenager going through hard times. He's going through hard times, like every other teenager. Yeah, and he tried to blow up his car. That's his first car. <laughs> <laughs> Kid Cuddy's parents bought him that car, man. <laughs> that was the first car he ever had. Fuck, dude. They're really going out. He, Diddy's a fucking, he's a man. He's a mean man. I would like to hang. Let's say to get him on the pod. Yeah. Hey, welcome to Fool's Journey. We're here with Diddy. Diddy, why did you blow up Kid Cudi's car? Be honest. No, seriously. Can you tell me? Look me in the eyes. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah, right before his court trials. Yeah. <laughs> I can't look him in the eyes, though. All right, Diddy, go on. No interviews. No podcasts. Nothing until this is all <laughs> under the rug. Yeah. Gets a request from the Fool's Journey podcast. I'll send him a request tonight. All right. I think, we, I think I'm going to go on this podcast, clean my name. I'll send him a request tonight and say, hey, Diddy. A podcast request. <laughs> Quinn from the Fool's Journey here. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn from the Fool's Journey wants to chat. <laughs> so I know a lot's been going on with you And I just want to know if you want to hop on the Fool's Journey And really air things out <laughs> yeah. Clear the air <laughs> Hey Diddy, it's good fellow down here <laughs> Look, I know you've been having a rough few, uh, rough, rough few days But i um, been wondering if you want to come down to the Goodfellow Studios And maybe hop on the Fool's Journey And, yeah. and uh, maybe clear your name Clear yeah, your name seriously. for everybody Yeah, honestly, like he didn't really do anything. Let's be honest. He It's alleged. He was just sitting back. He's the king of the Illuminati. He doesn't have to do anything. He just says things from an office. He's like Doom, dude. He has little Doom bots that go around and do shit for him. Yeah. Like Jay-Z and Beyonce. And it's probably Jay-Z who blew up the car. Yeah, well, Jay-Z is just a Doom bot for Diddy. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Just a fucking Is that boom bop rap you're doing right there? What? He's a doom bop for Diddy. <laughs> Jay Z's a doom bop for Diddy. Doom bop for Diddy Biddy. Yeah. He really is though. He goes out and he uh he does all the dirty work for Diddy. <laughs> right. He's the one that he's the one so that tried funny. to blow up that kid, dude. Yeah, Jay Z's a hitman for Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Crazy, I know. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. I know, Jay-Z, super successful, I know. <laughs> Doesn't have to do it. No, but that's it's a thing, you it's, know. You know, Illuminati type shit. It's how Diddy keeps him under his thumb. Yeah, well, it's how he gets all of his fucking numbers. It's like, he, can, he can air out that, hey, you killed all these people. He's promised you. big numbers if he gets shit done. <laughs> yeah. He he's, get, prom- he's promised another Beyonce. Imagine having two babies. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be unreal. You could clone her and have two of them. Yeah, he was promised two babies. That's crazy. Why do you think Jay Z's doing all this stuff, man? He's promised two babies. <laughs> He's doing a lot. He's of- got his first baby. So imagine, <laughs> so imagine what he did. Uh, he did a lot. Well, nine eleven. Jay Z was driving the plane. <laughs> And he, parachutes out. he sent the shot from the cockpit It Biggie It's crazy Same day right Yeah That was a dramatic day in history Yeah But, but yeah I do think that those last 20 minutes I have no idea about history <laughs> <laughs> Just straight agreeing with you Yeah Yeah No it was Yep 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 No I do think though that those 20 minutes that are missing from Eyes Wide Shut Might be the Biggie 911 story <laughs> <laughs> the Biggie 911 story. <laughs> That's why they killed they killed Biggie because he wouldn't do 911. <laughs> yeah. He was a he was a hero. And Diddy killed him for it. Yeah, well, he was pulling the fucking strings. And that's when Jay-Z stepped up to the plate. <laughs> yeah, he did step up to the plate. <laughs> oh, yeah, then why was Jay-Z taking all those parachute lessons, huh? Give me one good reason. Tell me how he was practicing long shooting from a plane. He was doing simulations. Tell me why he was... Uh, do you know... I have no idea if he was doing parachute lessons. He was parachuting. No, tell me why he was doing parachute lessons, huh? <laughs> he, no. Unless he was planning to hijack a plane, <laughs> crash it into a tower, <laughs> and and hop out of it. Yeah, tell me why. Seriously. That's what really happened on that day. You tell me, babe. Tell me how fucking Jay-Z <laughs> parachuted out of the 9-11 plane and then went and shot Biggie Smalls. <laughs> you tell me how on he, the same day. <laughs> you tell me how he was able to accomplish this. How did he do it? Yeah, seriously, let me know, please. No, no, you didn't see that photo in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him parachute again. <laughs> Look, that's Jay. That's <laughs> Jay parachuting. Look, that's Jay paratrooping in. Yeah. <laughs> he lands in the vicinity that Biggie Smalls was at. This is all proven through data <laughs> and hard evidence. There's all kind of times of you know they threw they ran it through AI and it was proven. Yeah, it was proven correct. Yeah, so you know we got to put him behind bars or don't I don't know. In all honesty, legend. the justice, you know. Let's get J- Diddy in jail. He deserves yeah. to be in jail, blowing up cars and stuff. Well, he hung out with Joey Badman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what happened to Joey Badman? He hasn't put, he hasn't <laughs> yeah, he hasn't put anything out. <laughs> he got shut down by the didster, dude. Yeah, he got shut down because he, he wasn't did. doing bidding. Yeah. He wasn't God having He wasn't having sexual voyeurism. He, was, he wasn't doing voyeuristic acts with Diddy. Yeah. Also, I was. Well, he did. And Diddy I'll say this. Kid Cuddy, 16 years old, has some fucking nerve to fuck around with Diddy's girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got fucking nerves. So maybe if I was Diddy, leader of the Illuminati, and some little kid comes up with his new car and fucks my bitch, I'm going to try to blow up his car. On some good fella shit. Yeah, it's only it's only natural, I guess. You just don't good when you're doing shit. evil evil plot and shit. Biggie's the, uh, <laughs> bro. Uh, how long does it take until one of these like stars just starts building <laughs> building rockets? <laughs> <laughs> Very soon, Elon Musk. He did. Yeah. Well, he's he's a it. rocket builder in general. Wow. And those are rockets to the moon. Well, he's from Agartha. Yeah, I'm talking about like missiles. Yeah. 
Oh, missile siren? It's just in. P. Diddy creating missiles, illegal missiles. <laughs> <laughs> False buildings in the heart of New York City. <laughs> yeah. Missile silos. Yeah. Pointed at where? Bebe's house. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to go on tour again. It's looking like both missiles are pointed at both Beyonce's houses. <laughs> both the Beyonce's are in danger. Bebe. Both of them. <laughs> the two Bebe's. <laughs> Yeah, he only has two missiles. Looks like Jay-Z knows too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like Jay-Z's slacking. <laughs> Get on it. You want to lose your babies? You haven't even gotten one, I'm going to kill it. Just after Jay-Z got two babies, <laughs> yeah. Diddy's trying to take them away. Well, eventually Jay-Z will take over. I don't know how old they are. Eventually the Jigga Man will take over, yeah. He'll take over as king. He'll take over once again. He'll He'll replace... Diddy. Yeah. Puff Daddy. Yeah, he's done no bidding. Imagine. Yeah. imagine I mean, honestly, P. Diddy's probably after Ye. Or oh, he's he, probably or after he, Ye. Or he already fucked Ye up. Or he did. Cloned him. We should probably get DJ Academics on the podcast <laughs> to, we'll really, on. to really get to the bottom of this. I wonder. Uh, he knows best. Also, though, Freddie Gibbs would fuck him up in a fight. So what? I'm just saying. <clears throat> so would Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy would not fuck him up in a fight. I don't know if Puff Daddy Puff could Daddy fight. would plant a bomb inside DJ Academic Sandwich. Puff Daddy would have some kind of like pen, pencil that he would pull out, stab <laughs> him, <laughs> poison him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He shakes his hand. Yeah, he would have some kind of needle in his fucking All right, sleeve. Act. You shake his fucking hand and it just poisons you. Next thing you know, three months later. While you're writing your life story, you die. Yeah. yeah. You might have the death note. Well, they actually call him King Cobra in the Illuminati world because he's the most poisonous. Yeah, I don't remember hearing about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, this is just kind of the forums I'm plugged into. <laughs> in other news. Yeah, no, you don't remember that Illuminati video? You know, it was back from like 2012. It was 2012? one of the first YouTube videos. It was Illuminati. 2012 World. They called Puff Daddy, Puff, Puff Daddy the, the King Cobra of yeah. the Illuminati <laughs> world. You never know when he's going to strike, but he's always flaring. He's, he's always got, showing his fangs. He is flashy and he is poisonous. He you don't remember back. that? Yeah, he does his thing. Oh, yeah, and Jay-Z, he's a five-star general. He's his hitman, personal hitman. That's how he got two babies. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Listen, man, I'm pretty sure there's only one Beyonce. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what world are you wait, living wait, in? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you don't know there's two babies? There's two babies. Diddy is doing. He's like Doom. He's got Doom bots. Diddy's due to give Jay Z another baby, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He's due to do something. Either he's going to kill Jay-Z or he's going to give him another bay. <clears throat> he's kingpin. Three bays? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the same as like kingpin going after Spider-Man. Him going after Kid Cudi, little kid. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not familiar with Spider-Man. <laughs> little kid with superpowers. Kid but I Cudi? guess, yeah, it is kind of like kingpin going after Kid Cudi or, yeah. or Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he survived. He's going to be okay. Yeah, he probably went after. Well, Diddy does dress up as like Batman and the Joker. He did, he dressed. Yeah, that all right. That's how you know he's just like chalked. He you dressed know, up as a Joker one year and was just laughing in people's faces and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. That's he's, weird. Yeah. Anybody who's done that needs to be like checked well, out. He doesn't even really rap. He's just a script scrambler who has to rap. Yeah, he rapped. He rapped back in the day, bro. No, he's King Cobra, dude. He doesn't rap. He rapped back in the day. All he did right. some wiggities, Look, but... Egg on me for being a huge Diddy fan, and now I've come to find know, out he tried to blow up Kid Cudi, my You know who favorite. dissed him? J, uh, J. Cole. J. Cole dissed him at one point. Yeah. And, and Kanye. He went after both of them, and they didn't respond. <laughs> J. Cole's like the King Arthur of... Yeah, of course Diddy's not going to respond. Well, actually, <laughs> actually, I was looking through like responses to the tweet, and one guy was like... Man, it's a shame Diddy put out that fire album this year. Like, I guess Diddy is putting out music for the old Wait, head. what did he put out? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. It was like some old head. A Diddy record? He's like, damn, it's a shame that Diddy record smacked. 
<laughs> Wait, I don't even know about a Diddy record, dude. <laughs> he might be. It might be a joke, you know. But I don't know. You know, Diddy, maybe Diddy, Diddy is Diddy. still making music. I feel like Diddy took his name from Biggie. He became Diddy because he used to be Puff Daddy. Yep. Well, the name Puff Daddy draws. He put out an album. In 2023, called the Love Album. <laughs> yeah, off the that's grid. This year. <laughs> off the grid. So the, the old head album. was correct, and apparently it smacked. Wow, he's got party next door. Metro Boom in the weekend. No Jay Z, and no baby. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing underground work. Huh. They're working in the shadows. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> hold, 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 give me. Give me a second. Give me. Give me. Give me one quick second. Yeah, do the research. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just doing my other job. He's I'm got just, JV. I'm just doing my other job. It's. Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. You might. Maybe. May have seen them articles on Twitter. He's got JB. He's got Ty Dolla Sign. My. Uh, my. My. Jamal. My. My articles. Holy on the, shit! Uh, this is a crazy record. Illuminati rap radar. Look, it's all red. Have you been to my website? Seriously, check out the website. Why wasn't... That's Illuminati stuff. Yeah, that's super Illuminati. Here, Quinn, make another article about it. Yep. Kingpin King Cobra. (laughs) Is P. Diddy the new Kingpin King Pro Cobra? (laughs) Linking Spider-Man to P. Diddy's assault trial? Yeah. Yeah. That's just, you know, we do make the joke about it, but we want... Diddy to go to jail. I don't personally. Ben does. Good for I do. Ben. Has, I do, dude. He's you know he's voted. You know he's Illuminati. We no. gotta get him. This is this is like the equivalent of Epstein, dude. I want a sponsorship and I want his full approval. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a. You made, said the same thing when Epstein when Epstein went away. I want to be made. I want to be a made man. <laughs> it's the same old thing, dude. You say this every time. I gotta get in, Ben. This is how we gotta get in. He'll let me make movies, Ben. He's the king of the Illuminati. You don't fuck around with that. Yeah, it's true. You know what I'm saying? You might as well just go with the flow. Hop in. Yeah, we get two we get two albums out of it. The water's warm. Out of out of support on the Fool's Journey podcast. So I'm saying full support, full backing from Diddy. Yeah. Diddy sponsoring the Fool's Journey. Seriously. <laughs> that could happen. I'll, I'll message him tonight. See if he wants to hop on. Yeah, message him. Yeah. <laughs> the time's now, Diddy, to clear your name. Hey, Diddy. Come on down to the Fool's Journey studios and... Hey, Diddy, it's Q from the Fool's Journey. Yeah. Journey. Come down to Goodfellas Studios, Diddy, and clear your name. We'll hop on Lose Equipment and uh, we'll air it out here on the Fool's Journey podcast at Goodfellas Studios. I was wondering if you had that same offer you had for Jay-Z for two babies. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Just, I do whatever it takes. I'm hardworking. I'm disciplined. <laughs> Dear P. Diddy. <laughs> Hi. I want the same deal that Jay Z got for two babies, identicals. I'm willing to do whatever it takes, just like Jay Z. If I have to fly a plane into a building, I'll do that. If I have to kill a famous rapper, <laughs> I'll do that too. <laughs> This is Quinn from the Fool's Journey podcast, by the way. <laughs> Bye, Puff Daddy. I mean, P. Diddy. Yours big, truly. Big fan. Big fan. Yours truly. <laughs> Sincerely. Love. Off the grid, the new record. Loved it. Your dearly beloved, Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Q from the Fool's Journey. Yeah, we get him on. He Talk to sponsor. you soon. Sincerely, yours truly, dearly beloved. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn. Talk to you soon is so funny. Talk to you soon, Diddy. Talk to you soon, like Diddy. Fully expecting to get a response. I bet you'd fuck with it. Yours truly, <clears throat> sincerely, dearly beloved. It's been real, Quinn. It'll be cool. He probably gets down with Modern Rachel too, or something. P.S. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the new album. Why wasn't Jay on it? <laughs> Why didn't you give any hints to Rachel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why was the J on it? For real though, what is he doing? Why didn't you give any hints to the Illuminati on this track? <laughs> I don't get it, Diddy. Usually out of here, I expect a lot of Illuminati tracks, but I just didn't get anything this Why time. Why didn't you post any triangles? Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you put your hands up in a triangle <laughs> formation? I should know. I went to Illuminati High School. We did that all the time. <laughs> put your hand up in a triangle. It's Illuminati. 
Why didn't you? Why didn't you do that? Illuminati way. How come every time I listen to the song backwards, there is no demonic spells? Illuminato. <laughs> I am Illuminato, illuminated by God. <laughs> That's him, dude. Yeah, just pretending you're in the Illuminati. He probably sits outside in his backyard in high school. I'm actually in the Illuminati too. I'm Illuminato. <laughs> Illuminato. <laughs> I am Illuminato. Yeah, you actually wouldn't know about it. Yeah, you wouldn't know about it. It's Portuguese for illuminated by God. Puff Daddy's picking me up. Puff Daddy's going to pick gonna me up. going to do a hit for him. <laughs> yeah. In Delaware, Middletown. <laughs> yeah. Puff cool. Daddy's going to come scoop me. <laughs> just lying your, <laughs> lying your ass off. He promised me two babies, just like Jay-Z. I'm going to record an album with Puff Daddy soon. <laughs> I just, have to, I just have to kill this guy first. <laughs> I just have to kill this man. That's what uh, happens. You the, kill a guy, you then get I, a record. Yeah. Then, then I get a, a hip hop pop idol for a wife. That's what I'm in it for. Dog. Two babies would be unreal. And they just go on tour, make millions. Everybody could get their own baby and have them go on tour, make millions. It's like a money-making machine. Yeah. Puff Daddy has a Beyonce factory? Question mark, exclamation <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Post it. What happened to Jay-Z's other baby? <laughs> yeah. Where'd it go? What? Is it, is it doing it secretly underground? How's my article doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a lot of clicks, isn't it? What are the views on that? Yeah. Are people concerned about the other the other Beyonce that's being hidden? Yeah. Is anybody actually asking questions about this? What are the comments? Click the comments below. Like and subscribe. Huh? I'm just fucking editing, dude. The real rap radar. Yeah. It's understandable. You know, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. <laughs> You can't just say that. I don't blame him. I told you my perspective. A little kid fucking around with you, bitch. Blow up his car for his car. Parents bought it. Well, this is his bitch that he's making fuck male prostitutes while he watches and jerks off. <laughs> That's crazy. And like... That's insane. She's basically like a sex slave to him. I feel like once you become like the king... So we're, all, we're joking around, but don't tr- don't trail off and go, yeah, I, I understand him now. No, I understand I him. <laughs> listen, listen to what I'm going to say. Once you become the king of the Illuminati, King Cobra. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, I get it. You ha- you can't have sex with your girl anymore. It's a dedication. You have to have watch other people have sex with your girl. Well, then why couldn't you watch the cut man? Yeah, well, the cut man was too fucking gay. That's for sure. He's a gay little kid, like Spider-Man. <laughs> you really like Spider-Man, though. No, I don't like Spider-Man. I used to. When I was a gay little kid. But now that I'm a grown man, I'm a Doom fan. Super villain shit. That's why I understand Diddy. Yeah, now that I'm grown, I really do relate to... to Let me get the wig wham. I relate to super villains more. Like, um... Like Pain from Naruto and, and Sasuke from Naruto. Yeah, you like Japanese super villains. They're dope. Now that I'm an adult. <laughs> now that I'm an adult, I did Now that I've grown up, I really... I've, I've found that I relate to Pain from Naruto. I find that all I like the pain. He's very nuanced in his character and how he uh, conveys the emotion of uh, pain. Yeah. It's very, he's a very nuanced character in that regard. I can tell he's in a lot of pain. You'd have to watch the show to really understand that. Yeah, but I like Japanese like villains. <laughs> Name's Pain. Yeah. No, nah, I think you'd have to understand. I think you'd have to watch the show to kind of understand if he if he was. Had pain. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man. You'd have to... Sorry, you haven't seen it, so I don't think you would know if he was actually suffering or in pain. Well, it seems like pain... You rely pain with pain. So painful people are in pain. Okay, so he was in pain. <laughs> yeah, he's Japanese, too. No, he's nuanced. Was he Japanese? Or the aliens? I was thinking more of like a Frieza-type villain. Yeah. That's the kind of people I look up to now. Like, totally gay. <laughs> yeah, super gay. Also, like, incredibly racist. And, yeah, like, yeah. Genocidal. Yeah. God damn it. Now that I'm older, I only relate to gay genocidal maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now that I've grown. 
Yeah, now that I've gotten older, I only really relate to super villains, kind of like Cell. Yeah, like Cell, who eats and absorbs other people. Yeah, a, a symbiotic being that is uh, constantly evolving past. Ooh, yeah, I think I do. I think I am that. Oh, he's pretty cool. I think I'm going to make a tweet about that. I'm going to get his poster. I think I am Cell from Dragon Ball Z because I'm constantly evolving. Yeah. Just explaining. Yeah, I'm evolving to my next form, and all I have to do is absorb other people. Yeah, I'm kind of like, now that I'm older, I'm kind of like Majin Buu. Yeah, turning I'm a people, blob. I like turning people into chocolate. That's sick, though. Can you imagine? Both of them are pretty sick, dude. Like, dude, dark like, I'm chocolate? Describing, I'm describing Cell, and it's like, it's, like jo- it's obviously it's a joke, but come on, man. You're just like, constantly evolving and shit? That's yeah, hard. dog. Like, growing. Literally from absorbing people through your tail. Yeah. I think that's the best part, absorbing people <laughs> through your tail. I think the coolest part about him is that he absorbs people through his tail. <laughs> I think that's so interesting. <laughs> he literally cool. walks around and goes, <laughs> you know, that's what. And I go, ah! You know, now that I'm an adult, like, I just wish I could go around absorbing people <laughs> through my tail. Yeah. And every time I do, I evolve. Yeah. That's like, you'll, you'll see people on the internet talk about, I might have talked about this before. This is just a Naruto rant real quick. But yeah. they'll talk about the character Pain, and they're like, he was, he, he really had like a good reason for why, what he wanted to do. And Pain was just trying to, uh, he was trying to kill everybody pretty much, or <laughs> like a large amount of people, or yeah. like he was just trying to destroy everything so that everybody would experience pain. That's so crazy. <laughs> and, know, and know what it feels like. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, it's, in, it's wild. Yeah, dude, those type of characters who j- why does that- Yo, I, why, do, I do kind of get them, though. Why is that the supervillain? Like, just wants to kill everybody. Because he had pain, dude. He went through some pain. Yeah, what a bitch. Yeah, so what? Rub your fucking face in the dirt. Well, then you got to have the other character come and challenge its worldview. Yeah, that would be me. I'd walk up with my fucking biceps. I'll go, hey, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you, pain? <laughs> oh, I got his biceps. You <laughs> dog power up starts flexing. You dog, you dog. You dog power up bicep. Hey, hey nuts. nuts. Step back. Q yeah. dog's gonna take over from here. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you, pain? <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> Will you let you fucking lay your head in the dirt, rub it, and you'll be better. Yeah, it's just people who don't you know, some people don't understand nuanced characters. Yeah, I think it's cool to be like more of a Majin Buu turning people to chocolate. He was awesome. He's, He's just chaotic. He was just chaotic. <laughs> you didn't know what he was gonna do. And then afterwards, he starts chilling with them all. Yeah, so he, he turns becomes, into like an Indian guy. He's like a cool guy. Yeah, yeah, because I think he was just confused. That was his whole thing. No, I don't know no, what he it actually was. He was evil. Yeah, there, when he was, was like jacked. evil and carnal, carnate, dude. Yeah, remember he was jacked? Yeah. That's crazy. Did they change him with the draggy bulls? I don't know. The I little guess draggy so. bulls? I think he ate enough people and he came full circle and just turned into a person. That's sick. That'll happen. Of course. That, eat that, enough that's chocolate? What, doesn't make sense. Eat enough chocolate, you're coming to sanity. Especially dark chocolate, cacao. He was just like eating their like Goku's wife, like eating. Yeah. He's eating everybody, dude. Damn. He was unstoppable. Did he go after Diddy's girl? I don't think so. He's not that nah, dumb. I'm not Diddy's girl, dude. <laughs> He's nah. not that dumb. He's not trying to hop into his BMW <laughs> and have that drone explode when he starts the keys, dude. You think Boo wants that? Yeah, he ain't even that dumb. Yeah, he wouldn't do that, bro. Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. I think Diddy's kind of cool for that. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and say that. I fuck with you, Diddy. Love you, Dad. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, that would be, that would take some tampering, and that's, like, what, that's how you would want to kill someone. More oh, or really? Less. We need it's to like, be- it's like you start to keys, and, and then it just explodes once you try and drive away, because it guarantees the person's in the car, right? Well, clearly he did, but it, they he wasn't, fucked up. He wasn't there. So, apparently, the car just exploded. So, it's like, it was Diddy, like, hey, go put a grenade in the exhaust pipe real quick. Yeah, pro- most likely he just hey, yo, was let me holla at you. He's just sending a message, most likely. Cuddy keeps talking to my girl. I'm going to blow up his car. And I'm just not having it. I'm going to blow up his car. That's- go go to Cuddy's house and put a grenade in his exhaust pipe and, run, and then run away and cover your ears. That's probably what happened. <laughs> run away and cover your ears. Fuck it. What, dude? Blowing up somebody's car? That's like an ultimate fuck you. But you're not killing him. Don't try to kill him. Yeah. Maybe he didn't try to kill but- him. 
like you said, there's all these people. Proof, there's man. all these people who related to Diddy that have died. Yeah, that's true. And Diddy, what don't get me wrong, Diddy allegedly. Diddy, Diddy's old too. He's Diddy, old. listen, I have a good lawyer. Her name is Nona. She's my grandmother. She lives in Westchester. Hit don't don't give the address to Diddy, dude. I'm not gonna give her the address. He's gonna blow your grandma's car Everybody up. Everybody knows Nona in Westchester, dude. She's the best fucking lawyer around. Go go find her and she'll defend you. You're not going to jail if you get Nona. I love you, Nona. Hey, don't get your top lawyers. Get get Quinn's retired grandma <laughs> to be your lawyer. <laughs> It's the only surefire way you'll get out of this. No, it's the dude. Diz, just, it's the only way you'll get out of this. If you get my Nona, she's retired, but she'll come out for you. <laughs> trust, trust, trust. Trust me, Diz. It's better than my cousin Vinny situation. By the way, why didn't you respond to my invitation <laughs> to the fool's journey? <coughs> we could have put all this behind us. Did did you get my message? Diz, you wouldn't even have to go to court if you just showed up on our podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aired it all out and cleared your name. Like, like <laughs> Like I originally asked you to do. <laughs> now you're making me look bad. Yeah, did, 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 did. <laughs> now you're looking me look, you're making me look like an idiot. Now you're making me look like a Majin Boo. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't no Majin Boo. My okay. my my last three podcasts have all just been like hints as to who's coming. Yeah, on on the next podcast, and you're making me look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I talked about it before podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And soon we're going to have Diddy on. <laughs> my last episode was titled, <laughs> all caps, P. Diddy is coming on, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. And now I'm looking like a fucking asshole in front of my audience, dude. <laughs> the last four podcasts, I'm just talking about how Diddy's going to be on. For an hour. Quinn, Quinn wasn't <laughs> even there. I was by myself holding it down. I was so excited you were coming on telling the audience about this, that, and the other. And you're not even going to show up. You're not even going to do me the decency of responding back to my tweet. <laughs> you're sending him this in a message? <laughs> this is a thread on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just add, I just added him. <laughs> I added Puff Daddy on Twitter and yeah. I'm just going in a in a row. <laughs> Some people who, who who are fans of me and the podcast can see <sighs> that Diddy's the one. It's egg on Diddy for for this. <laughs> not not me. This isn't this is a great opportunity. This is Diddy. Diddy's Diddy's fault. This is Diddy's fault. Yeah. All I need is two is a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're asking for, Diddy. A baby each. That's four babies. Yeah. <laughs> you got the baby factory. Yeah, yeah. And another thing, Diddy, you um, you said something to Quinn about giving him some babies. I'm not <laughs> sure what's going on there, but I've there's not been any babies at our house. No pop idols have strutted in. Not one. I mean, come on. He was very clear about it in his DM towards you. <laughs> He said he was willing to kill him, man. <laughs> we would, we were gonna split the babies, one each. Yeah, that was enough babies for the both of us. <laughs> that was two babies for the both. Yeah. Now we're babyless. <laughs> we'll even take one baby. One bay. Seriously, I would take one bay all day. Yeah. Ain't no way. I'm giving up on that opportunity. And it cuts off <clears throat> another tweet and it says, This just ain't right. This <laughs> <laughs> just ain't right. You're playing Hashtag simple. the Fool's Journey. It's like Fool's Journey. Where my death head's at? Yo, Fool's Journey's beefing with Diddy? I think. Diddy, 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 can't you see? It's not how that song goes. I don't know what's up with the Fool's Journey. He's just kind of saying stuff on Twitter again. Yeah. Making noise, <laughs> making fucking puddles. <laughs> Yeah, Quinn, trust me. We beef with Diddy. We're going to the top. Yeah. <laughs> we're making fucking noise. Remember our beef with Joe Rogan? Yeah, I remember And the that. numbers it did for us? Remember when we said we were going <laughs> to eat Joe Rogan and Jamie? Yeah. Who, who's, that did... Bro. It did that was trending. Numbers. Numbers. That was trending. The data points are there, folks. <laughs> the data pointed that we were trending because of that. The analyzation is in. We just got in the envelope. Yeah. It turns out that when we beef with celebrities, the podcast goes up. It's going way up. Way <laughs> up, I feel blessed. <laughs> it's just yeah. the most specific outlandish beef of like all time. You promised Quinn two, two chicks. <laughs> <laughs> two babies. Two babies. Two pop sensations. Where are they? <laughs> yeah. 
We need him for the... We're going to have him on the pod. Listen up. I didn't want to bring this to Twitter, but fuck P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> he promised Quinn, my co-host, <laughs> my good dear friend, Quinn, two babies, two pop sensations. Yeah. P. Diddy said it, and he said he would come on to the podcast. He would air out his name, yeah. and he didn't. No, he didn't to me, at least. Did he, t- did he respond to any of yours? <laughs> what are you, you replied to my tweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> We're just tweeting back and forth. Did he respond yet? Yeah, I mean, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't want to go out on Twitter and say this, but hey, <laughs> fuck P. Diddy. <laughs> Fool's Journey does not stand by him. Which we don't, but. No, I, I do. If he talks to my Nona. She can get him free. He's not going to do a fucking minute in that cell. So get him off the fucking hook. No, I'll talk, I'll talk to I'll talk to Puff Daddy if, <laughs> if, if we'll give my Nona some work. If he'll bring some work around old Westchester and get my Nona up working again. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll gladly be on Diddy's side. Diddy, I side with you. If you go down to Westchester, you sit down in a diner with my Nona and just talk it out. You know your gr- your grandma's probably watching Fox News and they're talking about P. Diddy right now on Fox <laughs> News. Definitely. She's just like... She's building a case. <laughs> no, she's building a case. I already know she's doing she's it. She's building a case. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let allegedly, it. allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> I'm Phyllis. I was named out to Philadelphia. And there's no fucking way. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> there's no way Pop Daddy did this. Ain't no fucking way. Puff Daddy did this. Let me tell you. Blew up whose car? Oh, well, that's just a child. There's no way. Blew up a child's car. He walk. can't even drive. <laughs> He's fucking 16 years old. He's only got his learners. For Pete's sakes. Let me tell you something. That dude is a real pistol. <laughs> He's a real high fire. See, back in my day, if a guy was blowing up cars, you'd go steady with him. See, I think that's a little romantic for her, him and his girl. Letting her fuck other men. <laughs> blowing up men's cars for her. Taking control over her cell phone. Taking control of her cell phone. Beating her ass. That's the back of my day. Punching on her. Punching on her. Back in my day. <laughs> oh, boy. Nothing got you friskier than getting your ass beat. Jesus Christ. I don't know how my yeah. donut turned into a fucking southern, <laughs> southern gal. Don't the guy you're frisky to get your ass beat. Oh, boy. Donut, you having false memories? Nona, what are you doing? Ain't nothing like getting your ass beat down south. Wait, when you, Nona, when you, you get done riding your horses. Are you talking to Diddy bringing, on the phone? And bringing the cattle in. And Pete Diddy's waiting for you at the ranch. Nona, why are you wearing Prada sunglasses? He's bumping his, 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 his song, collabing with Notorious B.I.G. Why are you smoking weed, Nona? Oh, this is from Puffy. I'm puffing. I'm puffing. I'm Puff Daddy. <sighs> I wish I could smoke weed, but I really can't. No, no, no. You cannot take this case. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, he's a friend of the Fool's Journey, Nona. No, no, don't take this case. You're smoking weed with him now? No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> don't take this case. <laughs> yeah. Begging her not God, to take the dude, case with you, Puff Daddy. Can you imagine my Nona smoking after fucking Snoop just gives it up? I'll be pissed. <laughs> I'm going on to smoke fast myself. Well, Q, Snoop smokes every day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. I've got some news for you. <laughs> yeah. Look at this tweet. You're going to want to sit down for this one. <laughs> Which the tweet was like a picture of, of Snoop smoking with he, a caption in it. He made a picture for it. <laughs> yeah. We had somebody make a picture for it. Like a meme picture of it. Yeah. I'm done smoking. I'm done for my smoking family. for my family. What did they exactly say? Let me read it for the audience just so we can get this correct. Because Snoop really... Snoop really upset me today. But it's okay. After much consideration and conversation with my family, I've decided to give up smoke. (laughs) Please respect my privacy at this time. Signed, Snoop Dogg. I hate and that. And then just a picture of him fucking stoned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's off the edibles. It's so 
Rollin. Just a picture off the eddies. I'm going to need y'all to respect my privacy at this time. I'm going to need y'all to inject me with some motherfucking THC, bitch. Put it between my goddamn toes. So nobody knows. Yeah, how do you do the Snoop Dogg voice? Say, listen. Snoop to the deal, double motherfucker G. Listen, I ain't even know about it. I'm going to need y'all to respect my privacy this time. Yeah, Yeah. I'm going to need y'all to respect my privacy. I'm off the diet smoke. Damn, I haven't heard anything about Snoop Dogg in like... Two years. Puffing down the cruise with no smoke. I gotta keep respecting his privacy just when he stepped into the limelight again? Jesus, there's Snoop. Respect his privacy. I'm gonna need y'all to respect my privacy and just chill. If you look at me, you ain't even respecting my privacy. Don't look at me. I'm not smoking. (laughs) 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 Yeah, yeah. He's going through smoke withdrawal, dog. You know he is. Yo, this sucks for real. For real. I can't even do this. Yeah. Things yeah. funny. Yeah, no, Snoop Dogg sm- stopped smoking crack. No, he didn't he didn't stop smoking weed. He stopped smoking crack. Yeah, well, you can tell. Nah, he wouldn't stop he wouldn't stop smoking. He stopped smoking cigarettes. Snoop Dogg's not smoking cigarettes. Anymore. No, he gave up smoke, buddy. That means he gave up smoking all kinds of different meats. That's big. He's still gonna smoke weed. He's still gonna smoke blunts. No, and he's za. gonna be smoking blunts and za, but he gave up smoking meat. Tell me he's not gonna stop smoking za. No, no, no. He's gonna stop eating zaza. Because he was promised a baby. God, can you imagine? Did he made him stop smoking? Probably did. Yeah, well, see, now nah, Snoop Dogg, I think he dodged what all a, that because he was a West Coast dog, guy. No, bro. no. What a fucking smart idea by Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Just as the news drops, he he hits up Snoop and says, you need to announce today. (laughs) You're done. (laughs) You're done, smoke. Hey, yo, what's this text from Diddy? (laughs) You're done smoking. Post this shit. Already made it for him. Nah, for real? For real? (laughs) You're done. No smoking. If you keep smoking, I'm going to murder your friends and family (laughs) one by one. Post on Twitter <laughs> right now that you're done. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, what a fucking distraction. That's crazy. Yo, on the behalf of my friends and family, I'm going to have to give up smoke. I'm going to need y'all to respect my prophecy. For Peace. real. Peace. Very good. <laughs> so they live another day. Boop. <laughs> 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 fucking Diddy. Sending out his doom bots. Yeah, that's what happened. God damn it. Yeah, what a smart idea. Diddy did what? Snoop's not smoking. You know whose idea that was? The Westchester gal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dudes. This is what I need you to do. <laughs> Call up Snoop. Threaten the safety of his friends and family, okay? And tell him to post. If he doesn't post, they're dead. <laughs> Trust me, I'm Italian. <laughs> uh, I'm Italian. Tell him the post. It'll it, it, the news of Snoop not smoking will be so detrimental to the psyche of America. Yeah. They'll completely forget your rape allegations. They won't even know what hit him. They'll forget the sex trafficking and rape allegations and how you tried to kill my kid, Cody fellow. <laughs> that little kid, the sixteen-year-old kid. <laughs> the public will forget all about how she tried to sex traffic that poor young girl yeah. and, and tried to kill that kill your kid cutty guy. Dude, Fox News is definitely talking about Snoop Dogg giving up smoke. He's a hero. <laughs> I don't Finally. know what are their opinions on I don't know what their opinions on weed are. I don't know. But I, we the people in order to form a more we perfect union establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense. Um Fuck. Yeah. Diddy's going down. The general welfare. And secure. The fuck, dude. I'm trying to remember the Constitution. <laughs> uh, why? Who gives a shit, dude? Because I'm American. The Constitution is beautiful, but like, I don't have it memorized. I just didn't heart. bring my pocket Constitution. Oh, I usually have it written on my sleeve in case everybody's trying to test me on how American <laughs> I am. Yeah. <laughs> 
I have it. I have it written in ink. I, every every morning, I spend <laughs> I spend an hour copying it on various parts of my body in case I need to break it out and remind people what country we live in. Nah, I put braille on my arm. <laughs> I've just fucking <laughs> yeah. Read it off my finger. Uh, I've trained. Th- 200 mosquitoes to, yeah. to to bite me in the placement of the constitution in braille. So, I, you know, <laughs> question. when it looks like I'm itching, I'm actually reading the constitution. <laughs> just making sure I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> just got to make sure I'm good. I just like, it's, it's, a, you know, when I go out on dates and stuff, like I want people to, I want like them to know that I know the constitution. So I have my, my mosquitoes Bite me in the bathroom beforehand, and then when I get to the, the day, I itch and I recite it. And you think after doing it so many times that I'd remember, but nope. I <laughs> recite at least 13 amendments. Uh-uh. I have it all down my leg. <laughs> Can you still, you know, I've done this a hundred times. I've read I've read the Constitution in Braille all my body. You think I'm touching my I penis? I don't remember. No. I'm reading <laughs> Braille <laughs> fucking... <laughs> I'm reading the amendments in Braille on my inner thigh. You think I'm jerking off? I'm remembering the Constitution, <laughs> moron. <laughs> Sorry, think, I love my country. You think I'm rubbing my dick right now? <laughs> no, I'm rubbing my inner thigh to read the Fifth Amendment to shut your bitch ass up. Yeah. Because you can't fucking prevail on my gamblers. <laughs> I think that's a- Oh, That's what's the, the Constitution? Can you recite it for me? Oh, I can recite it for you. <laughs> More perfect union. Fuck, not that one. Why are you scratching yourself? Hey, come on, man. <laughs> I can recite I know the Constitution off the back of my hand. <laughs> I and I didn't train 100 mosquitoes to bite me in various places to make it Braille Constitution for me to read for, as a party trick. I know the Fifth Constitution, which is... You did what? We shall prevail from your grid grams. Like a way crazier thing than knowing the Constitution. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You Just, did. Wait, you did what, <laughs> man? You trained a hundred mosquitoes to, <laughs> to write in Braille? Yeah, oh no, the Constitution? Or to bite in Braille? What yeah. did, wait, what? That's crazy. The Constitution? <laughs> Do you have a TED Talk? You're definitely jerking off. No, nah, I don't have a TED Talk. I submitted the Constitution <laughs> thing about reading it and knowing it off the top of my head, but they, they didn't let me come on the TED Talk for that. No, um, they didn't give me a TED Talk for that one. No, nah, TED Talk rejected me. I, said, talk. I told him I, I told him I would have a, a talk where I just say the Constitution, and they said that wasn't. Hey, TED Talk, it's Q from <laughs> the Constitution of Memory. This yeah. cool trick. Yeah. That old trick, Braille on the inner thigh. <laughs> That's like how I so cheated fucking, in school. Like, if you if you know the Constitution, like, cool. Yeah, it's like not really a crazy thing. And, like, not knowing it is, like, not a crazy thing either. But, dog, if you know how to train 100 <laughs> mosquitoes, think about what you can accomplish. <laughs> but that guy thinks he's, like, so, like, it's, like, the bee's knees, man. Yeah. Thinks it's the shit to just know the Constitution off the top of your head. Yeah, well, he, he went through extensive lengths, like, yeah. training 100 mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, do it on command, it seems like. <laughs> and then try to get a TED Talk about... Reciting the Constitution off the top of his head. Yeah, yeah, he probably should. (laughs) Leaves leaves out the part about the mosquitoes and stuff like that. You should probably get a TED Talk. No, they didn't let me come on the TED Talk. I told him I could read the Constitution. (laughs) What? Off the top of my head. And they said, that's very good, but we're not... (laughs) We're not very interested in, in, in having that, which I found weird. Uh... Yeah, man, you don't know the Constitution off the just, top of your head. He's still pulling as an old trick, knowing Braille on his inner thigh. No, bro, trust me. I can remember anything. I've trained under mosquitoes. Yeah, he gets it wrong, too. Yeah. <laughs> we shall not prevail to scrib on my scraggles. That's not how it starts off. We the people, in order to form mosquitoes. <laughs> Fuck, dude. They're becoming a hive mind. Yeah. They're becoming That's a hive mind of disease. That's funny stuff. Yeah, you would have a, a weapon. If you had a hundred mosquitoes, you could have them suck poisonous things and send them out. Diddy. All right, you got me. So I trained a hundred mosquitoes and I don't actually know the, the constitution. I just <laughs> trained this hundred mosquitoes day in and day out to write Braille on me. The constitution. I learned how to read Braille for this and everything. But yeah, no. Big egg on me. I don't know the fucking constitution. Yeah, <laughs> laugh it up. 
And yeah, no, of course. I, all I wanted was to go on a TED Talk and recite the Constitution, and they said I couldn't come on because that's not even that great of a skill. When it's all I want to do is, when all I want to know is, is how to recite it. I can't remember it for shit. All I can remember is we are the people. I don't know what we what we do with I don't I know we are the people but I don't know what to do after that. I'm not sure what the people are supposed to do. Unless I read unless I scratch myself and read the braille that the mosquitoes have bitten on me that I've trained that I communicated with my brothers and in my brothers and mosquitoes symbiotic relationship we hold. My family mosquitoes. That ability to connect with any animal be it the smallest <laughs> You know, the most dangerous. <laughs> the dullest. The dullest of animals. They just suck blood. Worms. <clears throat> well, if you could train a hundred worms, you could get a lot done. <laughs> you could build tunnels. You could get a lot done. Like, yeah. not really getting anything done <laughs> with a hundred worms. You could build a garden. Yeah, you could get them to eat some fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. hundred worms. Ew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch this. They all start coming up out of the tunnels. Ew! God damn it, another one. She doesn't like my worms. I'm teaching them how to spell out the Constitution so I can look, so I can, so I can side eye. I'm <laughs> teaching them. <laughs> so I can side eye and look while I recite it. They're like, they're like standing up, trying to spell it for him. Yeah, they're like sliding. We, we the people. <laughs> and it doesn't quite make sense after that. We the people. Come on, worms. <laughs> In order to form a more perfect union? Give me one second. Hold on. <laughs> Why do you keep looking over and saying, hold on? I, I had to get a dead dog Holy, for this. look at these worms. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't mind the worms. Are those worms spelling perfect union? <laughs> don't mind the worms. Why do those worms spell a more perfect union right now? <laughs> Why are you reciting what the worms are spelling out? Where those worms come from? What did you try and get this your TED talk about again? We the people was it training animals in order to form a more perfect union? Yeah, that's that school of rock shit. No, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote general welfare. And secure liberty. General and, welfare? Yeah, well, <laughs> general Who's welfare. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Who's general welfare? <laughs> He's the up and rising Diddy bot. He seems scary, dude. He's making hits for Diddy. General welfare. He didn't even ask for babies. <clears throat> He didn't want any babies. He's doing it out of the coldness of his blood. Yeah, he did it out of the goodness of his heart. No babies attached. No babies attached, but he's doing something suspicious. Let me get to wake up. He's kind of suspicious. Uh, well, he's a good guy, though. Who are we no, about? he's not. All right, you got to stop saying that about the Didmeister, dude. Oh, he needs to go to guy. jail. He's super. He's super Illuminati, man. Diddy, diddy, diddy. Can't you see? You're a really good guy, and I think you should come. Talk to me on the fool's journey. Just run it by my Nona first to make sure that you can come on here and say stuff before your court case. Yeah, seriously. Run everything you're going to say with my Nona. All right, Diddy, I'm glad you reached out to me. <laughs> not, has not reached out to you. <laughs> what you're going to want to do in this situation, I've been, I've been through it a hundred times before. Well, can you believe it's the most it? foul shit. Yeah, I've been through this a hundred times before, Didmeister. My Nona got me out of it every single time. Can you fucking believe it? The Didmeister stood me up again. Gordon, I don't think you should be admitting to doing what Diddy did a hundred times before. <laughs> Kid me, I've done that so many times. <laughs> I've gotten out of this 1,200 times over, Didmeister. Yeah. My Nona gets me out every time. Once you do it. And if the Nona doesn't work, we got someone else for you. We've got a Japanese legend. It's smart of you to Silver get caught. Fox. Silver they Fox. Silver Fox if they prove you not guilty, they can't charge you for the same thing twice. Now that I know about law. Hit up my no no. Yeah. Yeah, they can't charge him twice for that shit. It's a good thing he's getting the first <laughs> dosage out. It's like a COVID chat. Get the first dosage in. 
then they can't, then you're immune. <laughs> then you can just do it rampant. You can start doing it rampant, did he? Get up, I know that. <laughs> She'll get you off. Not only will my Nona get you off scot-free, did he? She'll get you a free pass to do it again and again and again and again. <laughs> I know the law. You just got to pay her, did he? Pay my Nona. She's a Westchester. Phyllis and Westchester's. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop smoking weed and wearing Prada sunglasses. No one has been acting different ever since she got Diddy off scot-free in a hall pass to do whatever. I went over my Nona's house for Christmas and she had two babies. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm being big surprised I go over to my notice house after the Diddy case and she has two Beyonce's just chilling in her kitchen. That's what I wanted. I was promised two Beyonce's. <laughs> I wanted for Christmas. <laughs> and she didn't get it to me. She kept them. Yeah. Let him behold. Long and behold. Lo and behold. Lo and behold. <laughs> Lo and behold. My Nona. All right, well. Loan and be told. Thanks for tuning in. Maybe put us in your life insurance. Yeah. And go kill yourself. Maybe, maybe did he just sit up Quinn's grandma and come on the fool's journey and clear your name out because we'll, we'll, we'll. Oh my God, dude, we'll give you clear <laughs> air. We have clear air in the house. Yeah, we. We have central AC. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> come through. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that like whenever like a star or someone super powerful gets outed for doing the worst shit yeah. like their lawyers come and there's like well you could always go and stay at Goodfellas Studios <laughs> yeah. they'll get you out of it just air it out they have central AC <laughs> well they're your only supporters currently yeah and they're, they've been emailing us nonstop saying that they have <laughs> they have a futon in they've, the living room <laughs> that you can stay in <laughs> wait out this whole thing just got to do a couple podcasts for him. And they said, that's your opportunity to clear your name. So <laughs> Puffy. Puffy, it's all you got. What, what are you thinking? Should we should we give these fellows a call? It turns out your well, lo- one of them is your <laughs> lawyer's grandson. One of them is saying that the futon's only available if you give him two bebes. <laughs> Which would be tough. You know, we're, we're low on bebes. We might have to rescind, you know, might have to rescind <laughs> Jay-Z's bebe. If, <laughs> Dishing out babies. We've been dishing out babies left and right, trying to keep people quiet, keep them on the hush hush. But I mean, <laughs> we, we we could rescind Jay Z's babies and give it to these fellas. Yeah, give them to the good fellas. Seriously, yeah, we'll take them. Well, my Nona, she better not get one before me. I'll be fucking pissed. <laughs> I'll be so pissed. Ah, <sighs> fucking Phyllis. Hits up your Nona and late at night. <laughs> The Tech. fuck! <laughs> Why do you, you don't deserve them? So you're gonna try to make a grab at the babies? You don't deserve them. No, no, you. What are you gonna do with two babies? <laughs> babies, <laughs> not babies, moron. <laughs> babies, <laughs> like the bay hive. <laughs> God. God, this is why you don't need them. <laughs> It's like, what? I think Quinn's, was, Quinn's acting weird. <laughs> Quinn's acting weird. I don't get it. Yeah. Uh.